Hi, welcome to BlueFX.net. My name is Marcelo Cabral. Thanks for buying this last template called My Path Catalog. And I'm here to show you how you can customize this project in the most fast, easy and efficient way. So, let's move on. In the delivery folder that you receive, you will find these two folders. Keeping in mind what you may need to show your image or video, we made two separate projects using the same process and method for each customization. This one was made to show six video or sequences, and this other one was made to show 12 still images. So, because the entire process to customize these both projects is quite the same, I'm going to explain you in deep how you can customize the video project called My Phone Video Catalog. So, let's go inside the video folder. Here is the project. Open it by double click, please. Ok, here we are. Let me show you what you're going to find once you get inside this project. Here, in the project manager, you will see these three folders. The 00U Change folder, the Other Comps folder, the Other Resolutions folder, and the 00 My Comp icon. All the compositions that you can change are contained here in the 00U Change folder. Let's open this folder, please. As you see, you have here all the compositions related with text, video, and other related with extra elements that I'm going to explain you just a little bit forward in this tutorial. Let this folder open. Now I have to show you what you're going to find in the timeline. As you see here in this blue object, you have all these marks. These marks are here to show you where you will find the elements that you want to change in the timeline. For example, here you have the logo, here the phone interface, here the catalog thumbnails, here the video scene 1, here the video, zero 2, and so on. So, if you want to change some of these elements, you only need to move the indicator over this mark to see the element on stage. The text element has its own marks, so, to see the text without any movement on stage, you only need to move the indicator over these marks. Ok, now you are able to make some changes. Let's start with the text compositions. First of all, in the timeline, move the indicator over the text element that you want to change. This is the text 01, so you have to locate in the U Change folder the text 01 composition. Open it by double click, please. Once you open it, select the text element and change it. I will retype here Welcome to your catalog. Ok, let's go back to the main composition. As you see, the text has changed. The process to change the rest of the text element is the same. Just move the indicator over the mark, then locate the composition in the U Change folder, open it and change it. A little help. To move the indicator right over the mark, make the click in the time roller near to the mark and hold the Shift key in the same time. So this way the indicator will snap to the mark. Besides this text that appears as reference for the videos, you have other text that you can change in the same way. Let me show you all this text. I will make a zoom just to see these marks more clearly. Ok, let's move the indicator to the first mark called Initial Slogan. To change this text here, you only need to locate the same composition that the text is referenced. In this case, is this composition named Text Initial Slogan. Now, let's move the indicator to the logo mark. To change the text contained with the logo, you have to open this composition name and text your site. This text will appear in other places like the interface footer. Let's move the indicator to the interface mark. Even here, in the interface, if you want to change this text above this button, you have to open this composition called Text Catalog Interface. Let's open it. I will change the text here to show you how this works. Note, do not move the text beyond these guidelines, otherwise you will change the text location in the phone interface. Let's go back to the main composition. As you see, the text has changed. The last text is this right here, contained inside the red right button. 
To change it, you have to open this Composition Column Text Catalog button. Open it by double click, please. I will type here something like Enter now. Let's go back to the main comp. And as you see, the button text has changed. So far, I have shown you how you can customize all the text elements each you're going to find in the timeline or containing inside other compositions like the interface one. Now I'm going to explain you how to customize all the video containers and the other graphic stuff each appears in the interface composition. First of all, let's move the indicator to the thumbnails mark. As you see, you have here all the video buttons has thumbnails or icons. Each one of them has been made using the same video that you will find here in these video marks, like video series 1, video series 2, and so on. This means that every video that you will place in this composition will appear as a thumbnail in the interface composition. As an example, let's change the video of this mark, name it Video Zero One. So let's go to the You Change folder and open the Video Zero One composition. When you get inside, you will find this object in out reference with these two marks, in and out. To show on a special section of your video in the video player, try to keep that section between these marks. And remember that the first second of this video will be stopped till the hand push the play button. So, let's add a new video here over this one. I have one right here. And I will take this and I will drag it to the composition. I will make just some little adjustments. OK, let's see how this looks in the main composition. As you see, the video has changed. Now, let's check this out in the thumbnail mark. OK, as you see, the thumbnail was updated automatically. The process is quite the same to add or change video inside the rest of the video composition. Now, I will show you how you can change and control another element of this project. Let's see in the U Change folder the U Logo composition. Just open it by double click, please. OK, here you will place your logo file. We recommend to use a PNG, PSD, or even an Illustrator file. Just drag it here between these guidelines. Let me make some changes. I'm going to take this file and I will drag it here over this text. Let's go back to the main composition. As you see, the logo has changed, but this is not the only place that your logo will appear. You're going to see your logo here in the interface, here in the video player, and finally, in the end of the project. You only need to place your logo in one composition and it will be updated automatically in all the other places. Besides this, you have another composition related with logo. Let's move the indicator over this mark right here to see the back of your pack. The backpack logo is an independent composition that you will find in the U Change folder. We made it this way because maybe you don't want to place any logo here. Let's open the composition, please. Now let's add our logo here. I will hide this object first. I will take this same file and I will drag it here. Try to keep the logo inside these guidelines because this is the limit of your backspace. OK, let's go back to the main composition to see how this looks. Now let's move the indicator to the interface mark again. As you see, the interface has some graphics elements that you can change and control. Let's see how to change the interface background. To change this, you only need to locate in the U Change folder the Catalog Background Texture Composition. Let's open it by double click, please. In this composition, you will find these two free images that you can use to change the interface background design. Just choose which you prefer using this eye icon. Let's go back now to the main composition and move the indicator over the video zero 2 mark. There is another object that you can choose 
using the same on or off process. I'm talking about the hands. As you see here, we have a male hand, but what if we want to use a female hand? We keep that in mind for you. Let's open the hands composition from the U change folder. Inside this composition, you're going to see all the hands that appears in this project. You also have a helper colored hands push points, with marks in the exact point of time when the finger pushed the bottom in the main composition. An advice, keep this object logged because if you accidentally move the hands object in the timeline, you can move it back to the right position just using this mark as a time reference. Ok, as you see, we have two different colors here. All the female hands are in pink, and the male hands are in blue. This was made this way because these colors will help you to choose between female or male hand. How this works? Let me show you. Now, all the male hands are visible. To switch up all the hands at the same time, you only need to make click inside one of these little blue squares here and choose Select Level Group. That way, you're going to select all the male hands with just one click. Now, switch off all the hands using the eye icon here. Using the same method, we're going to select the female hand and switch on all the hands in the same time. Let's go back to the main composition. Now we have a female hand pushing the bottom. Now, I'm going to tell you about these other two compositions called your catalog and your front page. Let's move again the indicator over the interface mark. As I shown you, these two interfaces for the bottom and for the catalog were designed by us. But what if you want to use your own interface design because maybe you have your own application? We keep that in mind for you too. Let's open this composition, please. Inside the U front page composition, you can place your own application front page design. I have here an example about this. I will drag this file to this composition right here. This will be your own front page design. Let's go to the main composition again. And now you have your own design inside the path. And it's quite the same to change the thumbnail interface. Move the indicator over the thumbnails mark. Open your catalog composition. Place inside your own catalog interface. And see how it looks in the main composition. Ok, we're almost done. There is two final objects that I have to tell you about. And you're going to love this. First, let's see this color control object. Select the object in the timeline and press the E key of your keyboard to open the effects. Select all the effects and open it. These three colors here for the background, background color opacity, background color up and background color down are related between them. As you see, we already have two colors in the background, but you can't see them in the stage because their opacity is down in zero. If you increase the value, you will see this color. If you want to see the color in 100% of opacity, just type here 100%. Now, we can change the background color using these color samples. As an example, I'm going to change this color this way. When you set up the new color, you can use the opacity control to make it more transparent. This is really easy to use. These other two colors controls were made to change the header and the footer color in the interface. Let me show you. I'm going to hide these two image spheres here in this composition just to see the initial interface. Ok, let's change these colors. To do this, just use the sample color like in the previous process to find the color that you want. I will use this color for the header and this other color for the footer. Now we have new colors in the thumbnails interface and in the front page interface. This last control here was made to change all the titles color. As an example, I will change the color of this type. I will choose white. Looks really good. Have you seen? You have all the color controls for every element on stage. 
OK, let's put the indicator over this mark to show you the extra element controls. Just select the object in the timeline and press the E key to see the effects. Now let's open these three effects here. So far this pad looks really good on black, but with this white iPad control you can change the color from black to white just changing this value here to 100. Let me show you how this works. As you see you have here the white version for this iPad. OK, with these other two controls you can choose between a standard interface icon or the real iPad interface icons. Just change the value to 100 of the icon set that you want to show. For example, I will change this value here to 0 for the standard icon background symbols and this value to 100 for the iPad icons background. And this is the real iPad look even without the standard symbols at the size of the button. OK, I think you already know all that you need to know to customize this project in a fast and easy way. My name is Marcelo Cabral from BlueFX.net. I hope this tutorial really helped you. If you have some questions about this, please feel free to contact us on BlueFX.net. Thanks for your time and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.